Hi everyone, this is Seminarian Steve. Right now I'm at Douglaston Seminary and I'm in one of the Blessed Sacrament chapels. So this week in the Gospel, somebody comes up to Jesus and asks him, Lord, who will be saved? It's a question that I've asked before, I'm sure many of you have asked it. Another way it's phrased often is, who gets to heaven? Who will make it to heaven? And before we can answer that question, I just want to say a couple of things. The first is God wants everyone to get to heaven, ultimately. He wants everyone on this earth to come and to know and to love him and get to heaven. Second, God gives us free will. So we have the choice to love God or not. That's the great thing about God. He doesn't force us to do anything. It's always a choice with him. We can choose to do something or not to do, not to do something. And he doesn't force his love on anyone. And most people love God and want to be with him. And they, we fall down, we mess up, but we, we ultimately love God. And some people, for reasons that are to their own, that they choose to reject God. And that is between them and God. So the person who asked the question, Lord, who will be saved? And we asked that question for, you know, who gets to heaven? Ultimately, as humans, we don't know, and it's not our place to decide who gets to heaven and who goes to hell. That is up to God, ultimately. Um, I will say this, though. We do know that people are in heaven. Who are they? The saints. Every saint we know has gotten to heaven. The, uh, on the other side of hell, the church has never said that anybody is in hell. We've never declared that, yes, this person is in hell. So that gives us great hope that God is so loving, so forgiving, so merciful that even our worst sins, God can forgive. And another point, the readings today talks about unity and mission. So I'm in the Blessed Sacrament Chapel, Holy Communion. This is often called, Holy Communion is often called the Sacrament of Unity because it unites all Catholics together that everyone who goes up to receive the host when the priest or deacon gives you the host, he will say, the body of Christ, and our response is, amen. And we're saying amen, we all say the same thing, amen. Because we're all believing that what looks like bread is really Jesus' body and blood. And more importantly, when we say amen, which means I believe, we're saying that everyone in this church, we believe what they believe. That we're all in the same boat, essentially. That there's no division between us. That we're all equal in the eyes of God. And that everything that the church says and does, we believe as Catholics. That's what, that's what our amen is all about. And even when we recite the, the Nicene Creed, again, we're all kind of saying the same thing. That's the whole point. Christianity, the church, it's all about unity. Uniting us all together to to believe a certain thing. And when we believe a certain thing, it's our mission to go out and to spread the, the message. That's, that's what the psalm was. The psalm for this week was go out and tell the world about God's good news, something, something like that. Um, so when we know the truth, that we believe that what we practice today, all the sacraments, all the readings, come from the time of Jesus 2,000 years ago. So for 2,000 years, it's been passed on from generation to generation, and now we have that truth, and it's our job as Catholics to go out there and to spread the news, tell people about Jesus, and bring them into the family. Again, expanding that unity to people who do not yet know about Jesus. That's our responsibility. So going back to the, the question, Lord, who will be saved? We don't know who's going to be saved and who will not be. There's great hope that most people will be saved, that God loves everyone he created on this earth, and he wants everyone on this earth to get to heaven. But it's our job as Catholics, for people who know the truth, to go out and tell people who don't yet know about Jesus, to say, look at this amazing thing that God has given us. He's given us his son, He's given us eternal life. He's given us joy and peace. It's our job to go out there and to bring people into the family, bring people to the sacrament 
of unity, bring them into holy communion. And then we, we know better that, Lord, who will be saved? Our hope and our prayer is that everyone will be saved and that God will forgive us our sins and bring us to eternal life.